Okay, welcome back everyone to a delicious Motsoi Shabbos here on uh, the Rabbi Moshe Meir Weiss uh, Daf Yomi Network as we are holding three lines from the bottom of Daf Mem Hayamid Bays at the New Gemara, sponsored by A.B. Spry uh, with the Tvila that all those that are waiting to have their children in the yeshiva should have it pleasantly fulfilled without heartache. Uh, we uh, also are sponsored by Yitzi Muller, Lili Nishmas Shver, Aaron Yaakov, Ben Chaim Nachman. His Nishama should have an Aliyah, he should have a Lichter Gigan Eden. We are very honored to be joined over here in the house by my dear Talmud David Helfgott. It's nice to have him here. Uh, David uh, started coming to the Shir. He heard an announcement on the Country Yossi Show. Uh, and uh, that... Uh, I used to say Taira on the country Yossi show, and one night I spoke glowingly about the Dafa Yaimi, and, uh, and, and, and voila! And uh, David finished Shas many times with me. It's really a pleasure to have you with us. Uh, as it is a pleasure to have everyone else joining us, even Marshall, uh, the, um, the uh, no, it's not time yet, it's not time for Kaparis yet. Uh, the uh, now anyway, Marshall realizes that it's almost Elul. I know, I know what he's thinking. Uh, the uh, and anyway, he's not in such a good mood because Shavasa Batamasi has to go 24 hours without, not 24 hours, but at least 18 hours without Frankfurters. It's a, it's a, it's a big. You're doing it for the Corbin, Marshall. Okay. Uh, now, we said that if he divorces her because of a suspicion of adultery, he can't take her back. So the Gemara adds that that's only if he said that that was the reason why he was divorcing her. That's where he says to her that I'm sending you away because of a suspicion of adultery, or mishum nederani matziacha because of a vow. Now, what, what is what is the worry that we say he can't take her, take her back? Because time of mind mishum kilkula, because we don't want to risk that later on her marriage with her second husband and her children will get messed up. Because i amalahachi, because if he says I'm sending you away because of a rumor of adultery, Matsi Mikalkula. Uh, he could mess her up because later on he'll say, Oh, I found out it wasn't rumor. If I would have known it wasn't true, I wouldn't have sent you away. But Vi'iloi, but if he doesn't say that that's the reason, then like Matsi Mikalkula. Then he can't mess her up because he can't say, I only sent you away because of that. He didn't say that that was the reason why he sent her away. Ikidamre, there's another version. He has to tell her, He has to tell her that I'm sending you away because of your bad name. I'm sending you away because you act uh, wickedly making the Durham, like the Mishnah says in Mesephtis Nedarim, Kenidre Risham, like the Durham of the wicked. Now, this holds that the reason why he can't take her back is because we throw the book at her. Kasavar, time of my, why do we say he can't take her back? It's, it's a knas to her because we don't want women to be uh, immodest and to be act promiscuously and we don't want a women to make uh, constant vows. Therefore, he has to say this because this is the reason why she's being sent, sent away. So the Gemara says, Tanya Kalishna Kama, we have a Brysa like the first version. Tanya Kalishna Basa, we have a Brysa like the second version. Tanya Kalishna Kama, we have a Brysa like the first version. Omra Meir. Mibnema Omra, why do we say, Hamitzias Ishtay Mishum Shem Ra, that if you send away your wife, because of a bad name, lo yazer, or mishum neder, and because of a vow, lo yazer. 
You know why? Because we're afraid. Maybe this woman will go and marry another husband. And then the first husband will find out that the rumor was just false gossip. And he'll say, oh, if I would have known that, I wouldn't have sent her away for thousands of dollars. If I would know that it wasn't true, I feel with my nicely may a money, even if they gave me a hundred money, and I'll annul the get, and get bottle, and the then she remained a married woman, and the children from the second husband would be Therefore, we, we, we let him know you can't take her back. If you send away your wife because of a bad name, you can't take, take, her, take her back. You can't claim and you send away for a vow. So that's like the first pshat. Tani Kalishna Basra, that's because of a knas for acting irresponsibly with Nadarm and acting immodestly amongst other men. If you send away your wife because of a bad name, Lo Yazer, or Mishim Neder Lo Yazer, and because of a vow, you can't take it back. Shalo Yei Benois Yisrael Prutzes Barayas, because we don't want Yiddish Medlech to be licentious, and we don't want them to. Benadarim, we don't want them to freely make vows. Lefikach, I'mim loy, emolah, tell her. She know why you're being sent away. Have a yedash, imishim shem rani motziacha. I'm sending you away because your bad name, uh, the rumors of adultery, imishim neder ani motziacha. Now Rabbi Yehuda says as follows. Rabbi Yehuda, I met. Barish, can I trouble you for some uh, water? Uh... You can rinse out one of the cups over there, my, my black and silver cup, if you want. Uh, what? No. No, but... But the concept was brought up. No, shoyal on the nether. Not on the get. It might be shoyal on the nether with a chacham, and then say, if I would have known that she could be shoyal on the nether, oh, oh. I wouldn't have given the get. Um, now, let's look at Rabbi Huda. Uh, Rabbi Huda Aimer called Neder Shiyoda by Rabbim. Any Neder that she makes with public knowledge, well, that's already a serious business. Lo Yazer. He can't take her back because that's a real. Uh, that that's a real flagrant thing. But if it's not known by the community, then Yaza, then he could take her back. What's the reason why he considers a net that's made in public to be serious? Now this is talking about the story of the Givainim, that they didn't want Klal Yisrael to kill them. So they disguised themselves as coming from a very far, far land and made a pact. And the Jews uh, made a promise not to, not to harm them. And it says, the Bnei Yisrael, Yisrael, even though they found that they were duped, they didn't smite them. Because the princes of the congregation swore to them. So we see that since it was made Barabin, they wouldn't be mat in it. So the Gemara says, the Rabbanan said, it's not because of that. First of all, the Shvur was made under mistaken idea. So it was a Shvur betos, it wasn't chal. Rabbanan has me chal a Shvur alive, klal. Is the Shvur chal at all? Came in the Amalum Eretz Rechaikabano. Since they said that they came from a distant land, and it wasn't true, they didn't come from a distant land. The Shvur wasn't Chal at all. Why didn't they kill them? And the reason why they didn't kill them is Mishim Kedusha Hashem, because they didn't want to make a Chal Hashem. The people won't understand the fine print. Now it says, a neder that's made by Rabbim, how much is a Rabbim? The Kama Rabbim. Rav Nachman, I'm a Gimel. Rav Nachman says three people. Rav Yitzhak, I'm a 
Rav Nachman Amit Gimel, because it says Yomim, Yomim is two, and then Rabim is a third, so that's Gimel. Rav Yitzhak Amit because it says Ada, and we know Ada is ten, the Siv Ada, Ada is ten, because it says Ad Masai the Ada Ra'azais, how long for the bad Ada, and of course that's the ten Meraglim, it was twelve Meraglim, but Yeshua and Kalev were Tzadikim, so Ada is ten. Now Ramey Reimer, Ramey says, Kol neder should sarich, any neder that needs the uh, chacham, then you can't take her back. Because we're afraid that he's going to claim, I didn't know that she could have been mat in the neder. If it's not, uh, doesn't need a chacham, it's a neder bein ola bein or inu nefesh, which could be annulled by the husband, so he can't claim, I didn't know, so then he can't take her back. Rabbi Lazar says to the contrary. Rabbi Lazar says, if it's uh, Chacham, he should be able to take her back, because he can't claim, I would have told her to go to a sage, because a man doesn't want his wife to be embarrassed in court. But because he, if, on the nether that was between him and her, or in an effort where he could claim, I didn't know about the law of I could annul it. So we say that we're guys of one because of the other one. Tani Rabbi Yezer, the only acid that needs it, a chacham, element neisha ain't it tzarech, because of an editor that doesn't need a chacham. But my kamifligi. Rameya says, no, a person would say, if I would have known that could go to a chacham, I would have told her to go to a chacham. Adam writes the shit is bazish to be best, and he he won't mind that she should have to appear in court. Rabbi Lazar suffer he wouldn't say that because ain't Adam writes the shit is bazish to be best. Am Rabbi Yisroel Rabbi Yehuda Meisah b'Tzidain. There was an incident in Tzidain. Baruch Atad Inay Eleheinu Melech Yidam Shachol Nia B'Dvaro. Amen. That's a cool incident in Tzidain. Kind of like that one. Now, all of a sudden it talks about a case in Sidon about where he says that all fruit should be usher uh, unless he divorces her. We weren't talking about the husband till now. Usually when it says a maise, it's referring to something that we were speaking about. And therefore the Gemara says, my tana, what did it say beforehand about where he makes a vow the Ketoni Maisa that embraces it with an incident. So the Gemara says, you're right. Chisere Mechsera, there's something missing over here. Right, Marshall? Chisere uh, Mechsera, there's something missing over here. Vachi Ketoni. Ba Medimar Mamurim Kishinodrahi. Where do we make these Takonas where she made the Ned? Avon Nodr Ihu? But if he made the Nedr and he sent her away, yeah, so he could take her back. There was an incident in Sidon. A man told his wife, I make a vow if I don't divorce you. And he divorced her. And the Chacham permitted him to take her back. Now, what Mipnei Tikkun Oilam means, to the contrary, there's no Tikkun Oilam, so he could take her back. So we'll see in the Gemara. But first thing Gemara wants to say, it says Kainim, he made a neder. What kind of a neder did he make? My Kainim, what kind of a neder did he make? May all the fruit of the world be forbidden to me. If I don't divorce you. He divorces so he could take her back. He could take her back. So the Gemara says, Pshita, of course he could take her back. Why not? So the Gemara says, Oh, may, maybe we should throw the book at him. You shouldn't be making the darb. Mao the same aligzar mishim der Reb Nosson. The tiny Reb Nosson, I'm a If a person makes unnecessary vows, kilo banabama. It's as if he built a high place at a time where private high uh, private altars are forbidden. And if he fulfills it, instead of being matin in neder and removing it, so here he made a neder and he fulfilled it, instead of removing it, we should throw the book at him and not let it take her back. We do. 
Mibnei Tikkun Oilam. This is a Mibnei Tikkun Oilam Ika. What, what benefit to the world is to allow him to take her back? What does that mean? Amar of Sheish is Aresha. No, it's going back on the first part of the Mishnah. The first part of the Mishnah is a Tikkun Oilam, either because there shouldn't be Mamzeris, or because there shouldn't be women that are Prutzes. It's not referring to this. Uh, Ravina Amar, no, La'ilam Asefa, and as I told you, Vahi Kitani, because over here there's no issue of Tikkun Oilam. Ain Bazu, Mimnei Tikkun Oilam. There's no issue of Tikkun Oilam by the husband. I understand. If he's Motsi, he, he gave her a get? Yes. He, he, he was regards, how, how can, she's free to go marry she wants, how can he... No, if she wants to come back. Hmm? She wants to come back. But how can, she can't come back unless the other vow gave... No, he, she, he, 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 she didn't marry anybody else yet. And then what's... In this case, she didn't marry anybody else yet. Okay, but in the case we were talking about before, the case where... No, over there, we're afraid. There the question was, we're afraid if we allow him to marry her back, then there might be a case where he, she marries somebody else, and he finds out that the rumors were unfounded, and he'll say, if I would have known, I would have never issued the get. How can it be but to get that was already, it was a good get when he gave it to No, it's a, it, it could be annulled by making it a get to Well, that's a whole, right. whole can of worms under that's any That's correct. Circumstances. That's correct. So therefore, in order not to allow him to have that claim, so therefore we say you should know that you'll never be able to take her back. Get the we haven't learned well, we, that's why the Gemara says it's only where he said, I'm divorcing her because of this rumor. Now, uh, wonderful to see everybody over here. Shimon, we want to see you more often. It's a shame. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I was actively missing you, I was having Shimon pangs. Uh, now, Zog the Mishnah, just getting on the way and almost finished. It's really amazing. We're almost finished. We're at an hour and two minutes, and we're almost finished the two blot. Unbelievable. Um, hopefully, with Hashem's help, we'll be broadcasting tomorrow at 10 to 9 from the Catskills. And of course, if you don't have the ability to uh, come to me to the Catskills, you can uh, watch on uh, zoomdaf.com at 10 to 9 tomorrow night. Hamoitzias ishtay mishum islandess. If somebody divorces his wife because she is an islandess, an islandess is a woman that can't have children. Rabbi Yudai Meloyazer, Rabbi Yudai says, he can't take her back because, again, we're afraid that maybe she'll go get married and have a child from her second husband. And the f- husband will say, well, if I would know that she could have children, I would have never divorced her. The uh, Chacham the Chacham say you could take her back. We're not worried about that uh, scenario. Now, let's say he divorced her because she's an islandess. Now, when he divorces her because of an islandess, he doesn't give her a ksuva. Because he's divorcing her because of deficiency in her, right? That she doesn't have, that not able to have children. Then she gets goes ahead and marries another husband and has a child. Now she comes back to the first husband and says, "I want my ksuba." Because you see, it wasn't my fault. I was able to have children. So let's see what happens. Nisus la'achar, after he divorces her from. But, and doesn't give her a ksuba, she marries a second husband, and she has children from the second husband. And then she goes to the first husband and says, look, give me my ksuba. You see, it wasn't my fault. Amar Rabbi Yehuda says, tell her, you're better off be, being silent. Because if you start making a racket, he'll say, if I would have known 
that I had to give you a ksuva, I would have never divorced you. And then again, nullify the get and cause your children to be mamzer. So don't start with this argument. Leave well enough alone. Says the Gemara, so from the fact that Rabbi Yehuda says over here that lo yazar, you can't take her back by an analyst, that means that Rabbi Yehuda is chayish l'kilkula. Rabbi Yehuda is afraid that if you allow him to take her back, then we're afraid that maybe she'll have a child. And the first husband will say, I would have never sent her away. And he'll be mechakal the second marriage. So the member of Rabbi Yehuda, chayish l'kilkula, v'rabonam lo'i chayish l'kilkula. In the previous mission, we learned just the opposite. The Tanan, Amoitzi, is Ishtar Mishim Shem Ra, Lo Yazar, you didn't take her back. Or Mishim Neder, Lo Yazar, so that means the Rabban and our Chayish Vikilkula. Rabbi Yudha, I'm a Kol Neder, she ought to be Rabbim, only if she makes a brazen Neder in public, Lo Yazar, because then we penalize her. But for Shaloy, I'm a Rabbim, but a regular Neder, Yazar, because he's not worried that maybe she'll get married and he'll say, if I would have known that she could be matted in Eder, I would have never uh, divorced her. Alma, Rabbanan chayish l'kilkula, v'Rabbi Yehuda lo'i chayish l'kilkula. And Rabbi Yehuda is not chayish, so it's a stira. Alma Shmuel Eipach, switch it around. Switch around the names. Says the Gemara, v'had midiktani seifa, nisis l'achiv, she married somebody else. V'hi l'abbanan me'menu, and had children from that second husband, and now she says, give, give me my ksuva, because uh, you see, it wasn't my fault, I was able to have children. You're better off being silent, because if not, the husband might claim that if I would have known that I had to pay you the ksuva, I wouldn't have given you the get. Says, this will also switch around. Abayam Abayah says, no, lo'ilam lo'itepach. In the case where Rabbi Yehuda says in our Mishnah, unless it's a neder made berabim, we're not worried and uh, to divorce her. Rabbi Yehuda, he savalak to He holds like Rabbi that you need a tonight kafal. You need a double condition. The Savala Kurabalaza, he also holds like Kurabalaza. Bitsarach, where, uh, where it's a neder that has to, need, needs, uh, where, where it's a neder that needs a chacham, uh, he's not worried about uh, uh, that. Uh, He's not worried about Kilkel because uh, he won't claim that I would have, if I would have known that she could be mat in the nether, I uh, wouldn't have divorced her because he holds like Rebbe Laza that a person doesn't want his wife to be embarrassed in Bezna. And B'She'enetzar, where it doesn't need the heter of the Chacham, and therefore if he says, I'm sending you away because of a vow, so why, why if it's not made Barabim, why isn't he worried? Ah, because Savala Kremeyer, he holds like Kremeyer that you have to make it tonight kafel. You have to say that um, if you have a vow, I'm sending you away. If you don't have a vow, I'm not sending you away. And here he didn't make it tonight kafel. And therefore, since no tonight kafel was made, he can't claim later on, I only sent you away because of this reason, because such a condition that it's not a double condition, like by Ruvain God and Chatzis Sheva Menashe, is not a good tonight. So the Gemara says, but I don't understand. Why are you worried about the steer of Rabbi Huda and Rabbi Huda? I'm a Rav and Rabbi Huda, Rabbi Huda Kash, and Rabbon and Rabbon and Loi Kash. We have the same kash in the Rabbanan and Rabbanan. In our first Mishnah, it says the Rabbi said that if he's if he divorces her because of a shame ra, 
he can't send her away. He can never send. He can never take her back. Why? Because we're afraid of Kilkel. Because otherwise, if he could take her back, and he finds out that the rumor was not true, he'll say, "If I would have known." So therefore, we say you can never take her back. So that means you're on a hold of Kilkel. And over here, in our Mishnah. The Chacham say, if you send away a wife because she's an islandist, you could take her back. And there they're not worried about Kilkel. So why isn't it a steer by the Rabbanon on the Rabbanon? Elama Rabbanon, the Rabbanon, the Rabbanon, the Kasha, to the Shanina. The Rabbanon, like Kasha. Man Chachamim, who are the Chachamim over here? Rameir, the Amar, Ba'inon, Tanai, Kafo. We have to make a double Tanai. In our Mishnah, where he says he's sending her away because she's an islandist, he didn't make it tonight, Kafel. But the Lord Kafel, he didn't make it tonight, Kafel. And since he didn't make it tonight, Kafel, therefore, later on, he can't say, Well, I said I was only sending her away because of an islandist. Because we tell him that the tonight is not binding unless you did it both ways. And over here, you didn't do it both ways. I just realized that when I learned to Gemara earlier about Savalak Rabalazar at Savak Rameir and I said it was Rameir of Tanai Kafel, it wasn't Rameir of Tanai Kafel, it was Rameir of the Mishnah. So I'm gonna go back and just read that piece of the Gemara. Um, right. Let's just go back a few lines so I could correct that. Um, Abay Omar, and if you're, if you're looking at the Gemara, uh, it's three, six, nine, nine lines above the Mishnah. Abay Omar, Abay says, We don't have to switch around. And normally in our Mishnah, where it says that Reb Yudha says that if he sends her away as an islandist, he can't take her back because we're afraid of Kilkel. Rabbi Yehuda, uh, 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 because he, we're afraid that he'll say, if I would have known that she could have children, I wouldn't have sent her away. So therefore we say, if you send her away as an analyst, you, you can never take her back. Because he's worried about otherwise he'll claim and be mechalkal the second marriage. I, then how come in our first Mishnah, Rabbi Yehuda said that it's only if she made a neder barabim, but if she didn't make a neder barabim, then he could take her back. But why aren't we worried that he might say, if I would have known that I could have annulled it, or if I would have known that uh, I could have had a chokhm be oikarit? So, Rabbi Yehuda, by he savalak Rameir, by savalak Rabbalazar. By the neder, he holds both like Rameir and like Rabbalazar. But Sarich, where it's a neder that needs a chokhm, he says, we're not worried that he's going to claim savalak Rabbalazar. He holds like Rabbalazar that. He won't claim if I would have known she could have been mad to the neder because he doesn't want her to be embarrassed in court. If it's a neder that he could have annulled because it's beino le beino or inu nefesh, that there he can't claim anything because he could have annulled it and most people know that he could annul it. Um, okay. Uh, again, tomorrow night at 10.2 we're going to now do the Mishnah Yaimis.